Hi, my name's Tony, and this is My Life in San Diego. This is the third video I'm starting out where I'm on campus again. And uh, like, la like yesterday, it's not because I'm a good student, it's because I'm going to the library to use the fast internet to upload my video from yesterday. So um, today's uh, live batting practice and then work. So not really much all too exciting going on today. So I don't know, if something goes on or I think it's something I'll definitely turn the camera on and try to get some video during line batting practice again. And I still notice that there's a lot of really young students here, but I'm, I'm actually noticing an influx of uh, older students right now. Um, I don't know why, but uh, there are a lot more older students right now, probably because of bad economy. It usually brings in more students. You see awesome stairs. So I had a history teacher tell me one time that um, during bad economies, people return to school, and during good economies, people just don't go to school very much because there's uh, opportunities out there. So that's probably why we're seeing a lot more older students coming back to school, reentry students it is. Yep, that's gonna work out. More stairs. I'm not sure what they're doing out there. Maybe I can show another room construction, but I don't know what they're building. What a difference like a few miles makes. Uh, it's 76 degrees and overcast here in Carlsbad and out in San Marcos it's 86 degrees and sunshiny. I remember playing here with the Devils a few years back. Played here in CYB um, many, many years ago. Anyways, I think it's a pretty good, well, besides the fact that it's all dirt infield, it's a pretty good field. It's actually pretty big. It's about as big as Qualcomm Stadium was, or is, well, was when it was a, uh, when it was a baseball field. Never mind. Well, it's open, at least. That's why they said, like, oh, yeah, the field's always open, so you can go in there anytime. The problem is, is that, um, it's wet. And I could really use a batting tee if I'm gonna hit here by myself because uh, Scott from the Devils isn't gonna show up. I don't know if Todd or Ted is gonna show up. And Leo, he's got a meeting brother trying back from Stro, so I might actually be here by myself and I might not actually get some hitting practice in, which would kinda of suck. There always is tomorrow. But there's a field right there. And um, I don't remember that being there when I was uh, playing ball out in this area. I think that's new. And so is that, that, stadium, that field right there. I don't know why, I just don't remember it. Maybe it was there, just I never played on it. I only played on this one. And I really didn't know that that one was there. That's gotta be new. I don't know, I'm just gonna go check it out. I got shit else to do. Yeah, this has gotta be like a little league field or something because uh, it is 275 there, 275 here, and then 275 right there. So this would be like home run alley for uh, for men's leagues, because I mean, you know, come on. Most men's leagues can hit fly balls that are 270 feet. It looks bigger probably because of the infield, because uh, of the dirt out there. I see like, I don't know, it just looks bigger without infield uh, grass. Just the infield looks, uh, it just looks massive. The infield looks massive. The grass isn't that deep. I just got a text message one. That's 1.30 now, I'm leaving, nobody's showing up. I did get a text message from Scott, yeah, he told me that he had work to do so he wasn't gonna be able to make it, so I'm like, cool. But uh, I thought this guy Ted was gonna show up, uh, and he didn't, so I sent a text message to Leo real quick, cause he sounded like he was gonna make it out after his meeting at uh, Maricosta, and uh, I told him, hey, don't worry about it, don't bother. Nobody's here, I'm leaving, I'm going home. I got things I can do today, such as take my grandmother to get her pills. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, a little disappointed. Not not like the other guys, I just, I really found that uh, I have success at the plate after um, I've done some live batting practice. And, um, it was a Ferrari. And uh, anyways, um, what the hell was I gonna say? So I feel like I get some success after live batting practice. And 
especially after uh, playing softball, like I did some BP on Monday in softball, and I hit on Wednesday doing softball, or Mon yeah, Monday doing softball, Wednesday had a softball game. Uh, so I just, I guess I'm super over cautious about um, messing up my baseball swing. Well, I'm over here at the Mission Sports Complex, also known as the Lumber Yard, and uh, some of the fields. Actually, I'm gonna kind of like cruise around and waiting for this guy Travis to get here. So while I wait for Travis, I'm just gonna look around. He said he had a membership here. I don't, I don't really know what that means. So uh, I heard there's a batting cage here. I don't know. I'm just gonna go kind of check it out. Maybe we can just get on the field and you know pitch and hit and all sorts of other cool stuff. But uh, no adult practice. So it says right there, league play only. Okay, can't practice here. Well, it couldn't practice here anyways. It's a small ass little league field. Hold up. I think I'm gonna call Travis to find out. Find out. This is a nice field for a little league field. So great place to play some baseball if you're a kid. If you're not a kid. Okay, well here's a little lumber yard. Not over there where I thought it was. It's right here. I guess I'm gonna go in and do some hitting. Ooh, we got a nasty little blister right here on my hand. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving the lumber yard. I almost called it the lard house. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm leaving the lumber yard right now. Um, any day of cage hitting is a good day. And uh, I need something to drink, Gatorade preferably. I feel like I need a shower. I got a nasty little blister in my hand now. Ouch. And uh, good show. Um, the only problem with this place is that the cages are like 48 feet little league size away. They throw baseballs, which is cool. But um, it took a little getting used to. And now the problem with that is, uh, as I was trying to catch up to the pitches, because they were coming in very, very fast from what I'm used to, because they're coming in so close. And so um, I got way, way out front with my timing. So I had to like settle down, let the pitches come in. You know, found, you know, I started drilling them all the other way. Which is great because I usually don't do that, and I'm still I, I'm finding that I'm getting a lot of power and a lot behind my ball, the ball when I go the other way. Um, now, what I have to do tomorrow is an absolute must is do live batting practice because I need to make sure that I can keep my rhythm from uh, from seeing live pitching um, because if I if I'm gonna go in with the timing off that machine, I'm gonna be way out front because the pitches I'm gonna see are coming in at um, 60 feet, you know, probably 58 feet or so, or maybe closer than that when the pitcher throws the ball. So the pitches are gonna be coming in, and, uh, and my timing, just sort of my, my instinct, my reaction time that I'm used to, is gonna be like, swing, swing, swing. But it'll be too soon, and I'll be way out front. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, well, I don't have much to talk about tonight, uh, because not much happened today. You know, I did get to the cages eventually with uh, Travis. And uh, what I thought was funny about that is that I'm in the cage kind of struggling because literally the, the pitches are coming in um, not quicker because the velocity wasn't that, it wasn't throwing that hard. It wasn't like it's throwing 90 or anything. But the just the distance and the reaction time <clears throat> was less. So I was fouling pitches back, fouling pitches back, and then I was trying to catch up to him, catch up to him. So tomorrow we're going to try live batting practice part um, and I got guys coming out at 11 o'clock tomorrow to go to Poinsettia. So I should probably hit the hay right now. Um, so I can get up and take care of business tomorrow morning. Anyways, you guys have a nice night and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.